Hey. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I didn't stream that much last week because it was my birthday and I was doing a lot of stuff and I was very busy all the time. And from this point forward, starting on Wednesday, I might have a weird schedule because I'm starting to work again. But aside from that, I'm going to hopefully do a return to schedule, return to form type thing. So I kind of been slipping recently. Feels like I haven't streamed in a while, even though it's only been like six or five days. Uh, but we're gonna play Dwarf Fortress tonight, so no rambling. Let me launch it up, get everything started. Um, one second. Just give me a second here. I have to figure out which one is the one I'm using here. God damn it. Can I, can I capture the proper one, please? There we go. Okay, that took me a hot second, but whatever. Let me just uh, go into full screen with this. So as you can see, um, I installed DF Hack, and I also have text will be text, and or I think that's what it's called. And I've installed the tile set, CLA. So not the current version, as you can probably see. So um, yeah, I'm in point three instead of point four, but. This was the only version where DF Hack had a beta out, so, eh, whatever. I'll deal with the minor bugs that I'm probably not going to experience. And also, we're not doing um, the Volcano Fortress anymore. We're going to create a new world. Alright, so, we're going to do a medium world, very short history, actually, um, yeah, we'll do very short history, medium civilizations, medium science, beast, savagery, and we'll do frequent mineral occurrences. Zuspasman, Zus Zuspasman, the momentous plane. Looks fancy. Yeah, why not? Nothing wrong with Zuspasman, the momentous plane. Looks kind of nice. Okay. It's taking a little bit, but it always does that when I'm streaming. So why not? Maybe next time I generate a world, it won't be like live or anything because that way I can actually do the history beforehand. But yours didn't take very long. All right, there we go. Some interesting stuff, some interesting like Ooh, what's this? Is that a desert? Continent of Swing, the Field of Roughness, Dune of Climaxes. Holy shit, Dune of Climaxes? <laughs> That's a funny name. Oh hey, what's up? You were in uh, my last stream. That was a while ago though. Play Dwarf Fortress today, and we might play CK2 later. I don't know. Um, I might not play it because it's getting kind of late here and this is like a last second thing not my own choice but you know but we will be playing Dwarf for uh yeah not Dwarf Fortress CK2 on Friday regardless right we got some Dwarven Fortresses up here Dwarven Fortress of as as of as Avuzost the Veiled Tooth um there's one over here um, Caldora, Cal, Caldolo draws the banded horn, and Helix of, I'm not even gonna try, Savage Field, and also the Savage Field, oh, so these are the, the Savage Field, together. Yeah, I don't know if these are different civilizations or what. We got a volcano and, um, the Tundra. That's kind of interesting, let's accept this already. We'll take a closer look. Never figured out how to play Dwarf Fortress. Well, this isn't really going to be a tutorial 
per se, but I am going to be doing a lot of the basic stuff, so maybe, maybe catch on a little bit. Who knows? I don't really know how to play Dwarf Fortress either, to be honest, and I've been playing it a lot. Um, just rename this to stream. And we'll boot up in Dwarf Fortress mode. I don't really like adventure mode, to be honest. I like Legends mode, though. I think the reason why I don't really like adventure mode is because it's kind of hard for me to use. I don't know. Alright, let's take a look closer look at this world. Okay, so that volcano is apparently pretty big. Can I get a closer look at this? What is this? The Tundra of Intensity. I've never seen a volcano... Oop, can I not do that? I've never seen a volcano in the middle of a tundra. It's very interesting, and maybe one day I'll go take a look at that or something. Spawn there, and or I'll spawn over here in the these elven hillocks, and I'll go on a journey up there. Cause that's very that's very interesting. Is that I think that's a volcano, anyways, because it has the lot magma uh, icon on the far left in the local region, and that was a volcano last time I played. And I actually did the proper volcano fortress. But these are the the dunes of climax yeah these are a full-on desert so the places we're going to be settling today is probably going to be just um a nice region what are these points oh surroundings terrifying the points of dourness i want to be there this goblin fortress here i wouldn't mind being in like a colder area i do like colder areas where it freezes often the Fragrant Dunes. Serene Surroundings. Hmm. Who are these guys? The Wordy Walls. The Wet Plain. Sagging Tattoos. It's very interesting. Maybe we'll do something on, um, there's a couple of mountain homes over here. Sm tiny little ones. Um... Maybe we'll do, like, one nestled in between these three mountains. That seems nice. Do one, like, right here. Maybe somewhere a little bit better. I want somewhere that's not... Yeah, like that. I want, I want a river. I like rivers. Okay, that needs to not happen. Uh, delete note. Delete that note, too. Okay, how do I re-smooth these around you? And uh, there you go. Alright, so something like this should suffice. Something like that maybe? No, we want a good mount a chunk of mountain in there. Maybe like maybe like this. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a little bit of a bigger area. It won't hurt anything. It'll get kinda slow, but I feel like that's uh that's pretty reasonable. We got some different areas there. We got wilderness. The brook is called Master Drenown. Master Drenown. And we're in the wordy walls. Uh, trees, none. That doesn't seem right. I feel like those trees up there... Maybe we'll find a different area. So this isn't that bad. Something like this. The Wilted Mire. This... Mist by the stripping... Or some... I don't know what that river is called. Um, we'll shrink... No, we won't shrink down to this area's size. This seems okay. Move it a little bit to the left. That seems like a perfectly fine place to make my fortress. Alright, we'll go ahead and embark here. On the steps of day. And, um... I will prepare carefully, but I'm not going to do... 
too much. I haven't really given them um, my fortress. Like, I don't really have any plans for this beyond just making it a normal fortress. For now, we'll see how well we can do. Maybe create some some nice buildings, some, some nice areas. I just haven't had a normal fortress in a while. So we want a miner, efficient miner. Um, and we want him to be... We'll just we'll just go for proficient in person in each stat. All right, so we'll get um, a competent woodcutter, maybe. Um, we're gonna need a grower, a herbalist. We're gonna add um, a comp, a skilled grower, an adequate herbalist. Iton Adeshlin peasant will be that for us. We're gonna need um, a metal, wood, and stone crafter. We'll just do adequate, competent stone and wood crafter. Sure, you, there you go. We'll do, even do a metal novice metal crafter. And we're gonna need a cook and brewer. So we'll have a competent brewer and a competent cr uh, cook. Actually, we'll make him be a skilled cook. Why not? Um, I'd like a fisherman, so we'll do what can we do here? Flatterer. Astronomer, mathematician. Alright, there it is, fisherman. So we will have a competent we'll have a skilled fisherman. Who is a decent, uh, not a decent, competent fish dissector, and a novice animal or adequate not animal dissector? There you go. Our final guy will be what else do we need? Oh, he needs to be a uh, fish cleaner too. be an um novice and it'll be an adequate fish cleaner uh our last guy could be let's have him be our carpenter and mason competent carpenter competent mason and um comp adequate engraver adequate building designer We don't really need a doctor right now. All right, we shouldn't. All right, that that should be adequate. We'll take a closer look at those people later, but let's name our fortress. Um Peace Peace Peaceful Homes. No, um Peaceful Mountain. Bisolono, Peaceful Mountain. Peaceful Mountain, the mountain, peace. Bisolono, ono bisol. <laughs> no, how about the fortress? Of majesty. Is that a word? Um, what's a good word? Something that's very like majesty. Um, adjacent. Or something like that. Not waters. The fortress of rivers. Bisolono Geshud Iger. Eh, no. Let's just do peaceful fortress. Peaceful mountains. The fortress. Peaceful mountain. Yeah, peaceful mountains. Good. Bisolono. It's almost like Italian. And we will be the.
the dead rags now labor of denting avalanche of muscle strain of circumstances the scrap sling cudgel of craters buff bodice the shaken guild why are some of them muscle is it like muscle related the stirred tower the furious flag the infinite town i like that I like the infinite town. Um, the infinite age, here on them. The infinite mountain, here on all. Coastal Helms. No, 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 no. First objective. Infinite. No. The infinite. Drunk. Beer. The infinite beers. Iru cat. The infinite beers. Sure. Maybe we'll make taverns. We'll make a a grand tavern. Peaceful Mountain, the fortress of taverns. Fortress of party? No. The Fortress of Drinks. Bisolono Geshudor. Um. The Ageless Fortress of Drinks. Oh shit, uh, Tamper Monkey just updated, that's fine. We're good. Peaceful Mountain, the Ageless, the Ageless Fortress of... The Ageless Arc Fortress of Drinks. Peaceful Mountain. The Ageless Arc. The Ageless... Ageless Baldness Fortress of Drinks. I don't know. The Ageless Angry Fortress of Drinks. No, we'll just do the Ageless Fortress of Drinks. There you go. I like that. Bislonal, Gatol should, Gatol Geshid, or. And our symbol will be. Well, the music. I forgot about that. Turn that down for a little bit for me. So we'll do a dwarf. A hundred dwarves. The scholarly tool is an image of a hundred dwarves. Can we do... Here. drinks the image of a hundred doors and a hundred drinks actually we'll do we'll delete a hundred drinks and we'll add a thousand drinks we do historical figures uh, plants Can we do plump helmet? No. Um, can I do wine, actually? No. Okay, shape. Nope. Artifacts. Nope. Okay, we'll do actions and events then. Um...
we will do the dwarves. The 100 dwarves are admiring the 1,000 drinks. They are devouring the 1,000 drinks. And they are laughing. The 100 dwarves are laughing. Okay, and this will be called the... The Ageless Ale. Of Dwellers. That's, that's nice. I like that name. Gatalmada Kobeg. The Ageless Ale of Dwellers is an image of 100 dwarves and 1,000 drinks. The 100 dwarves are admiring the 1,000 drinks. The 100 dwarves are devouring the 1,000 drinks. The 100 dwarves are laughing. I like that. Alright. Good enough. Are you sure you want to embark? 107 points remain. Go back. We will switch to items and we will do Dwarven Ale. We will spend the rest of our points on Ale. Because that's what's truly important. Alright. I'm ready. All right, and then I'm going to open up Dwarf Therapist here in a second. Hopefully that'll work out. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes to the forbidding wilderness beyond your harsh trek... And the forbidding wilderness beyond your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Dastoth Recult. Rithlet. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter. It entombs you this spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the lions get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Bisolono. 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 Gatalshad or. Peaceful Mountains, the ageless fortress of drinks. Strike the earth. Nice. Alright. We'll pause this real quick. We will... Look over here, whatever this is, up here. What is this? Hoary Marmot. Dense dog tooth grass. What the hell's a Hoary Marmot? A large rodent that lives in groups in the high mountains. Are they hostile? Fuck our hoary marmots. Looks like a snail in this thing. Alright, let's um check over here real quick. Whatever this is. Looks like it's just little tiny rivers and stuff. What are these? Granite boulders. Now are we gonna have an aquifer? Probably. I didn't actually look. Anyways, as you can see, I have text will be text, so I have a uh, nice tile set here where the ground looks like actual ground, and I also have punctuation, and I also have this very nice um, layered effect, which is cool. I like it. I do notice that it does cause a little bit of a a weird thing here with the water as you can see um well i guess that's not that weird because it doesn't really affect me in any way but whereas up here where the layers would stop it would just be a downward spike indicating water uh here it is actually water which is kind of misleading whereas this is actually just a downward slope into stagnant water but whatever it is what it is. I'm gonna open Dwarf Therapist real quick. Hopefully this should work. I did do some weird stuff to make this connect to point three, but I didn't check. Okay, there you go. Alright, so who's our expedition leader? Um, Dusim 
Elash Shudil. Um, it is a a boy who is slow to anger. He has a calm demeanor. Can handle stress. Occasionally overindulges. Often acts with compassion. Is very rarely moved by curiosity. Is comfortable with others that have a sense, different appearance or culture. Tends to form only tenuous emotional bonds with others. Has a sense of duty, tends to think before acting, is slow to trust others, finds the ideas of independence and freedom so much, somewhat foolish, does not respect the law, doesn't respect uh, society without debate and strife, dreams of creating a great work of art. So not bad, but not great. I don't really, he was good up until the part where he um, talked about not having a sense of um, law. Here, I'll open this up in um, actual Dwarf Fortress real quick. We can go to that. So we have Dusim. We view him and see his thoughts and preferences. There, there we go. Um, Worshipper of Xanor. Xanor. Member of the Infinite Beers. Um, he's slow to tire and really sick. Uh, but he's quite clumsy. He likes alunite, words of the crescent, build ornament, the sound of sweetness of velvet, and the sight of the flower of poems. And possibly prefers to consume fisher barrels, fisher berries, bilberry wine, and pearl millets. He absolutely detests moon snails. He has a great analytical abilities, a great kinesthetic sense, and an ability to read emotions fairly well, but he has meager creativity and quite, quite poor focus. Oh my god, try reading that shit. This <laughs> just like text at the bottom. This is why I love Door Therapist. Because I couldn't read that otherwise. It's just like. It's like staring at a fucking, like, line of code. Alright, his sideburns are clean shaven. His medium length mustache and is arranged in double braids. His very long beard is arranged in double braids. His very long hair is tied in a ponytail. He has a broad, prominent brown shim. His nose bridge is convex, and his somewhat narrow ears have nearly fused lobes. His nose is slightly hooked. His slightly rounded gold eyes are slightly protruding. His hair is dark tan. His skin is dark tan. Okay. Interesting. Short, sturdy creature, fond of drink and industry. Let me, I'm going to keep this up and read off Dwarf Therapist real quick. Alright, that was all there is. And he's our woodcrafter, stone crafter, and metal crafter. That's his job. Alright. So let's start making some plans here. What is everybody doing? So some people aren't doing anything. That's fine, because I don't expect them to. I'm gonna zoom out real quick. Just see what we have to deal with here. Alright, so we got this river running through, um, big mountain face just there, and a small mountain face up there. Um, I'm gonna dig into the mountain right around here. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse or not, but I'm just gonna leave it off. I have mouse support enabled, but I'm probably not gonna do anything with it, besides click on stuff occasionally. Alright, um... In fact, tell me if the mouse is enabled and I'll disable it. Like, on the display. We're probably gonna dig in right here, and... Make an entrance. And then we're gonna dig down to, like, this layer, or wherever the aquifer starts or stops. Because it's clearly gonna... there's gonna be an aquifer. I can already tell. Alright, we'll make the entrance right about... Link it. Make it like right here. Make it too wide or something. I don't know. Yeah, we'll make it right here. Why not? We'll make it three wide and we'll make it here. Like that. Just make a little tiny area into there. 
Okay, and that, that'll be our entrance. We'll do two that way. One, two. One, two, three. Two. Should be proper, right? And we will have in that interior area. Actually, we'll do like this. Do it like this. This. Wait, no. Needs one more. I thought for a second I was playing with like some other thing on. So that's nice. Okay. And then we will have a. For now, I think this will be fine entrance to the fortress. Like, we could build some outside areas. Like, this isn't very protected. But we're also going to probably do like farm areas up here and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe that'll... We'll, we'll leave that like that is for now. We'll make like a deeper entrance. Like this. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. that uh-huh and that'll be our actual entrance I guess maybe something like that because if they can't protect like all the way up there what are we even doing you know we can we can make an exterior entrance and then this thing could possibly be an entrance later to, like, another area. Maybe, like, an, another area up here, or, like, a separated version of the fortress. Or part, or segment. Maybe even an entrance to, like, a tavern area. So we have, like, a separate entrance? I don't know. Just an idea. Or, like, a stockpile area, or something like that. Anyways, let's do uh, some downstairs here, J. Okay, and then also we're gonna chop down all these trees everywhere from there to here. Okay, and then what else is there that we could do? Our fishermen should automatically go fishing, right? Yeah. Yep, he's already doing that. And then I'll have our carpenter, for now, be doing some mining. And our craftsman, for now, will also be doing some wood cutting. Who's our expedition leader. And then our planter and our farmer. Wait, what? So you're farming and plant gathering, and you're brewing and cooking. Why are you a farmer, then? That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. We'll have our farmer do some other stuff. Isn't there, like, a tending to animal skill? No, it's animal hauling. Um, there's another one, isn't there? We'll have our... Our, um, chef, who is our farmer for some reason, also be into milking and cheese making. And butchery tanning and leather working anything to do with an animal that seems perfectly fine to me all right let's let's accept those changes all right that seems fine for me for now so that should take care of the idlers and stragglers and all that kind of stuff now that the only two people that should be doing nothing are um yeah, our farmer and our planter. Just fine for now. Alright, we're gonna have farming areas up here. I don't know how big they're gonna be, but I'm gonna try and make them decent. It seems like the dirt goes in for a decent way, so that's nice. 
this... I can't engrave this, can I? It's lone wall. If I tried to do, like, a smooth stone on this, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. May as well just dig this, then. We can make walls out of it later. Something to catch in the central swamps. Well, there's a river right here, so I don't know what you're doing. Alright. Seems like it's all sandy loam, which is nice. Alright. Um, eventually we can do, like, a drawbridge here. We just put up a drawbridge in our fortress. Be nice. No aquifer yet, so that's nice. Yep, all sandy loam. Good. Alright, we're gonna do something here. I wanna make um, two branching paths here. Six across. Three wide. Three, four, five, six. Okay. And I'm gonna put my first farm down here. I'm gonna put a seed area here. Something like this. Like a stockpile area for seeds and stuff. This way, and then... Something like that, but not quite like that. Something like this. I like that. This can be our first farming area. It's a little big. Whatever. And we'll have two entrances to it. Sure, why not? We'll even push it up to here. So why not? Alright. That should be fine. And we'll start growing stuff in there, hopefully. Alright, we're gonna have to dig this out too. build walls there later. Doesn't matter. There is a little bit of stone, though, it seems. Maybe? No. Never mind. That's just what it looks like when there's nothing there. Okay. It's raining, apparently. It's nice. Lots of wood everywhere. It's good. What is that? Stink. Fuck is stink. Can I see what stink is? What the hell is stink? Whatever. I guess stink is just stink. Whatever. Who knows what it is? Aethel Stinkthelth Cole has become a miner. Who is that? Well, that's our, um... That's our woodcutter. For some reason now, he, or our carpenter, rather. Our carpenter and mason and stone detailer is now a miner. Eh, whatever. We'll get to know our dwarves as they become important. We'll probably find a nickname for our expedition leader at some point. He's kind of a grumpy, stern person that doesn't really respect authority. Here, I'll give him a perfect nickname. Why the hell not? One second. So deuce him, your new name is... Can I rename you here? Why? New name is... Carlin. There you go. Not 100% accurate, but what the, who the fuck cares? <laughs> Alright, so we're working on this now. Maybe put... We'll put our other two people to work here. As miners. They're not going to be able to do much, but 
They need to be doing something right now. We need to mine faster. Let's see if we can do that. Did I get that in there? Alright, what are you doing? Do something. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll unassign them from doing that. Whatever. They don't want to do it. It's probably because they don't have a pick, huh? Well, that's fine. Still only day two, apparently. This is fine. Or maybe we're in the second month. No, we're in the second month. We're in the second month, day four, which I believe... Might just be a bit day four or something? I don't know. Let's start doing priorities higher. Um, this area here. Just so we can get this cleared out faster. Be able to start assigning some new grow areas as soon as possible. Alright, buildings. Farm plot. How big can we go? Not too bad. All right, we'll put one there. Give enough space for another one. Okay. Put it. We'll put it here. Actually, we'll just do two. We'll do this entire bottom row will be um, plump helmets. We'll all be the same thing for this bottom row. And then we'll have a separating thing or something for the next area. It'll be good. All right, who's gonna go do that though? Okay, it's gonna be him apparently. And our woodcutters have finished cutting down all the wood, which is cool, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's already been 46 minutes, wow. God damn, time flies. Okay, second area. First area is almost done, and we'll figure out what we're gonna grow there. I guess it'll be plump helmets, and then the next other farm areas will just be mixed grow areas, I guess. What are you doing here? Drinking? Okay. Fair enough. Go drink your mail. Uh, ale. Mail. Whatever. You've earned a break. Is the fisherman doing anything? Oh. Yeah, he is. He's fishing. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Keep fishing. Alright. We cleared out the rest of the farm plots. Nope. Uh, first we'll do this. We'll do... Okay, for spring, we'll do plump helmets down in this entire bottom area. For summer, keep doing plump helmets. Autumn, plump helmets. Winter, plump helmets. This bottom area is the plump helmet area. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. If you don't like it, Get used to it. We're making plum and helmet ale in this fortress. And we're gonna make a lot of it. Maybe that's what the secondary first entrance will be our taverns. Make like a massive tavern area. And then the second entrance is for everything else. Okay, our miners don't have a job anymore, but that's bad. Okay, miners. Uh, you can get to work. Actually, we'll make this entire area plump helmets. First. And then this, we can have a second art farm area, I guess. For everything else. So let's do farm plots. Um, here. And here. And then... Here and 
here. Okay, nice. And then we will do the second low priority one. We can have another area that won't just be plump helmets, but whatever. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, like that. And this is one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four by three. Okay, just making sure everything looks symmetrical. Okay. This isn't equal for some reason. I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. And we'll do like this. We'll just do this more equal. The entrance here, and then. this up to this way oh wait no I don't want I don't want that there actually no we'll do this okay there the farm plots there are gonna be kind of weird looking but whatever Who cares that should be fine right yeah all right next area what even is this oh it's just walls okay we'll do up and downstairs the next that many levels until we hit rock basically shouldn't be too hard and we'll just we'll just lay off on um, registering too many of those farm plots we got granite here granite here granite here more granite I think it's safe probably to go down like one, two, three, four, four layers, should be fine. Actually no, let's just, uh, let's do four layers, that's fine. Okay, we'll do like that, this is our area, this is our fortress area at least. It's got three areas above that to make room for any aquifers. And then hopefully we can do like a tavern area in there too. Okay, so we should have a three by three area on both corners of this. That's essentially what we're going for here. So something like that, okay. Just making sure. And then we'll do, finally, we'll do something like this, which is what I wanted to do, where we can have smooth granite walls on all sides. All right, something like that. Except also higher priority. Actually, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Alright, but we gotta make sure we, that we do these uh, smooth stone here. That. And like that. Not here. Okay. Alrighty then. That's gonna look very nice. Are we doing it up here? I wonder why they chose to do this down here first. 
Oh. I don't really like that our engraver is the one who's doing this, but whatever. Hey, who who else is um, doing like stone carving kind of stuff? Can we do anybody else doing engraving? Let's have Carlin. He's he's just our craftsman. He can do some um, stone detailing. I do not. Yeah, get down here. There you go. Where is he? There you are. Tail that stone. Alright. Uh, smooth this stone out too. Nice. Okay, and then we can start doing um, areas. I don't know what I'm going to do for my areas though. I suppose the most important thing right now is the stockpile area. And then we need um, a cooking and kitchen area. Right? That seems pretty important. Hmm. Alright, let's do this like this. So this way will be our s something. And then how far to the right can this go? Not very far. We're actually very close to the edge of the map here. All things considered. Alright, here's how I'm gonna do this. So, I'll do it like this. This area up here... ...will be the stockpile area. I think. Actually, no, we'll do this... I don't know. Whatever, let's just do, um... Zoom in. Let's just dig this way. And this way, for now. I have some stuff going over this way, too. And this way. How far can we dig over here? I say we should do a big stone stockpile and a big rock stockpile here. And then down here we can have more stockpiles. But just having a big stone and rock stockpile over this way until like right here won't hurt anybody. Let's have that low priority though. This entire hallway actually. Not super important for the stone and rock stockpiles. For now, it'll be like this. I'll have two entrances here. And two over here. That's stone and rocks. Then we could do... Something like this, just extend it a little bit. Or actually, we don't even need- we can do it even closer because it's already like that, okay. And then like that, just make it even. Okay, something like that. Alright, down here we'll do, um... We'll do- we'll do, um... We'll do beds out this way. For now. Down here we'll do, um, I don't know, how about this, crafting up this way, stuff like that, down this way we'll do, um, cooking areas and stuff like that, and then this way will be beds and the meeting hall. Alright, so let's try and do that, let's do, um, all the way down here. How many was that? Do two of those down each way. Why not? And we'll get to work on that a little bit. 
And while they're digging that out, I'll think up a little bit about what I want to do. I don't really know. I know that it would be convenient to have all of our crafting stuff up this way, since it would have uh, just a leeway access to this, and we could probably do like a thing up here. Food and stuff is a pretty important, so we could probably have it down here somewhere. And then over here is just wide open area, so it could be everything else. And I don't really need to plan that far ahead. So I'm not really concerned about it that much. But it is what it is. Alright, so plump helmets and everything so far. This way, too. Plump helmets, plump helmets. Not plump helmets. Okay, so D, C, plump helmets, B, plump helmets, A, plump helmets. Alright, so everything is plump helmets over here. Then plump helmet, plump helmet, plump helmet, plump helmet. Sorry, I just want to know what follow all seasons meant. Uh, I wish there was a way to instantly copy all this. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. And then one more. Plump helmets. Already it's plump helmets. Plump helmets. Plump helmets. Okay, what? Okay, I guess that's that's it then. And we could do a stockpile here already, so we could do um, custom stockpile up this way. Remove designation. And then we'll do you up here. Change settings. We'll do enable food. Just do plants, I guess. Forbid, forbid, forbid. Um, forbid, forbid. We'll do enable this. Permit. We won't do drinks. Seeds. Permit. Fruit leaves. Permit. Milled plant. Forbid. Forbid, forbid. 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 And forbid. So just seeds and fruit and stuff like that there. We'll call that Ctrl N. Plump Helmet Farm. Okay. Cancels plant seeds, new pump helmet spawn. Alright, well, that's fine. Is that growing plump helmets right now? That should be our one plump helmet, right? Growed loam. It should eventually grow a plump helmet. Plump helmet farm. Huh? Plump helmet spawn. Okay, so there is plump helmet spawns. Never mind. Okay, so they are making them. Cool, cool, cool. Somebody working on that. Let's get our engraver to work, by the way. Right away. Uh, we'll do... Smooth stone here. Let's make this entire area nice and smooth. Just this entire starting area. All the floors and stuff, very nice looking. Pyrite. I don't think I can really make anything about of pyrite, but it is a nice yellow color. This is this stuff? Mung bean plants. Mung beans. Passion fruit vines. Let's. Get some plants too in this area. Why not? Now let's do the um, gather plants. P. We'll gather all these. 
Okay. Growing plump helmets. That's good. Um. So which button is um status? We have plants. We got food. We got drinks. It's all good. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to work doing that. Two idlers, they're probably getting a drink. Yeah, they are. Okay. Already this is going swimmingly. At least compared to my other fortresses. Or my blast fortress. Which almost died immediately upon... Um, the whole... Embark. A little sad that I never got to do the, the volcano dumping zone, but well, it is what it is, you know? Alright, so smooth ground does kind of just look like plus signs, even with this on. It kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. It does kind of look nice. There's a certain niceness to plus signs. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is... Down this way, I will have... You can have... Hmm. I'm gonna build a... Thing here. It's gonna be our meeting hall. For now. And then, in between it, you can have a little kitchen area. And a food storage area. Like this. Connect it up like that. Okay, and then like that. It's not that bad. Three across, and two like that. Okay. Not too bad. That could be our meeting hall. Where we store all our drinks and stuff, and then down this way I could do more, like, general stuff. Stockpiles. I could also do, like, good stockpiles up here, too. It doesn't really matter. Excuse me. It really doesn't matter, to be honest. Made of gold, what? Oh shit. We got gold? Well, that's cool. I'm down for gold. God damn. I'm always down for gold. All right, well, that's cool. We can end up making like statues of that stuff. Always nice. Alright, and then... Once we have that set up, then we can start doing, um... Homes for our dwarves. I guess I can start doing homes for our dwarves this way. That should be fine. A meeting hall of this size is probably good for until, like, a good amount of dwarves. And then we can have an upper area for, like, everything else. And that should be a functional enough fortress for now. At least that's what I think. Eton Adsolan has become a farmer. Um, you were a planter before, but yeah, I should probably be a farmer. Because that's what you were doing. Um, can I refresh this? I think um, some of our guys are leveling up their tasks. I know our miner is a master miner now, which is nice. That's what Dwarf Therapist says. That's good. Alright. More gold. 
Lots of gold in this area. I'm very much liking the tackiness of the gold. I don't know when we'll start work on our tavern area. But it should end up being, like, very normal. But we'll make, like, a secondary thing up to going up there that way, and then... We'll connect it up to our fortress somehow, but we'll put in some, like, back ways to our fortress. Maybe trapped or something. We don't really want visitors to go into our fortress. I don't think there's that good of a way of stopping them from doing it, but... I would like the, the, the fortress and the tavern to be kind of separated. Not for any particular reason. Just because... You know, the fortress is the fortress and the tavern's the tavern. They have separate entrances, mostly just so that uh, people, assuming that we have a high, very high influx of customers to our taverns, um, it'll end up being very nice and uh, separated. We won't have so much foot traffic going through our fortress. All right. Everything else seems to be kind of good. It's no, uh, no pressure water trap minecart system or some shit, but it's nice. I like how things are coming along now. Um, let's just dig into the wall here, too. That doesn't gonna look nice if we don't do that. It'll give us some more gold, too. I wish there was a way to mine all this gold without, um... I'll probably hold off on creating walls until I mine all the gold out of there, because I don't want a golden wall just, like, in the middle of the granite. Seems kind of tacky. And there's so much more gold that we could be getting. Gold is what's important here. We're gonna make a huge, tacky tavern made of gold with golden statues of beers and... All sorts of crazy shit in it. Alright, so we're in summer now. That's something. Before I turn seasons. Is it gonna crash? Nope, we're good. Okay, can I look at the logs real quick? Or, what is this? I never actually knew what this was. Island of Amusement. I don't know what these are. I never actually looked. Continent of Swaying. I think those are jungles? Just humid jungles? Don't know. We also got pink garnet here. Interesting. We're making good headway on this very nice looking fortress. How are our dwarves doing stress-wise? job, gather plants. They're all not very stressed out at all. That's good. Nobody's really idling at the moment. I'm assuming it's because of the gather plant order I gave, huh? Yeah. Um, a lot of plump helmets being made. Ooh. Did we make the plump helmets? Prickleberry. Yes, we did. Nice. What is this, though? Flies. Not so great. We're definitely gonna need to move that plump helmet shit down here soon. Alright, in fact, we're gonna do that now. Let's get this done now. Can I get Q? No? D is what it is, right? Number three priority. There you go. Do that. Alright, P stockpile. Food. And we are also gonna have. That's gonna be for cooked food. We'll move the regular food down here temporarily, but we're also gonna have another area down here, I think. 
Alright, we'll have it be a full area. Why not? We're gonna have that be... Um, another stockpile. For the raw foods. And a butcher station in there. In fact, we're gonna build that now. Uh, so workshops... Uh, we're gonna do... Butcher's workshop in here. Probably gonna do it right there, actually. Not in the middle of the door. That's dumb. Alright. We are moving food down there, so that's good. We'll actually probably do it against the back wall. Why not have a drink area, too? No, we'll, we'll make the food and drink stored in the same place. Alright. So we're gonna do another... S no, not yet. But we're gonna do a stockpile in there, and it's gonna be... Okay, so we're gonna have a butcher's shop here, so we're gonna do... Okay, we're gonna end up doing three shops in here. Butcher shop, get out of granite. Um, with a fishery in here. As soon as they break some of the other stuff. Two butcher shops and a fishery. Uh, building, workshop, butcher shop on this side of the room, granite, and a fishery. No, that's not how you do fishery. Fishery is H. I'll do that there and we'll make it out of granite. Okay. And then, stockpile food here. Here, Q, change settings, food, um, unprepared fish, I don't know what U does. Prepared food. Oh no, this is prefer prepared food. Permit meat, but not prepared food, I guess. Right? Yeah. We should be fine if we do that, right? Yeah. And then this one should be prepared food. So we should be definitely be a difference here. Old nuggets. Fungi wood barrel. And we'll make these prioritized higher, I think. We can do that, right? Settings. Additional options, maybe? I want to make this higher priority. There's a way to make them higher priority, isn't there? Change settings. Let's just keep this to seeds then. Forbid forbid. It's only seeds. Everything else can't be in here. Okay. That's fair enough. I should get rid of all the flies. Alright, now we can actually start building the other stuff in here, so we're gonna have...
We're gonna have a kitchen here. Let's put that there. Granite. And for now, we'll just have another thing. We'll have a still on the other side of the room. Made out of granite. Why not? Okay, there you go. So are they putting this stuff in these now? Plant barrel, funky, ask. Rickleberry. I don't know. I think I set that up right, but I might not have. What time is it? 12.30, 23. So I actually got a Switch over the weekend. One of my friends was nice enough to get me one. And I also got Mystery Dungeon DX. So I might end up playing um, the original Mystery Dungeon a lot more because I don't really want to play beyond where I am in the game, in my stream, you know? So I'll be streaming it probably a little bit more um, once I get to the point where I was in the game. Or whatever, you, you get what I'm saying. Might play a little bit more. But this Wednesday should be, if I do stream this Wednesday, because I do have work, um, should be Metal Gear. And it, it will probably end up being the last Metal Gear stream, assuming I'm able to do it properly. Alright, I forgot that we need to do more mining, so let's do more mining. Um, I'm gonna build some workshops. Just build like uh how many workshops can we fit in here, huh? We do something like this. Just to figure out how many workshops we can put in here. So we have put like two between each one. Do another row here. Two, like that. Okay, so that's good. You like that. That. That, and then we'll expand that a little bit. And do like that. We'll do one more row dinging there that. Alright, that's fine. That could be a workshop area for now. However, let's see how many more we could fit in there, actually. We could actually fit in one more row. Like that. Can we fit in another one now? But, we could have a finished good stockpile here. So we could do another little row of these. So we could have eight by eight. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Not too bad. All right, we'll dig that out. And then we'll do two, three, two. Three, one, two. Okay, like that. That's our new digging project now. So I don't know where they're storing all the fish. Prickleberries, ale barrel, plump helmets, prickleberries, granite, mussels. I guess they're, they're dealing with it. We also need a trash stockpile, refuse stockpile. And we'll put that... Put it up here, now. We'll put it, like, up here. So, is there, like, an open area here? Refuse? Right here. There you go. Good enough for now. 
and expand it as needed later. So now, all these flies will start going away. Hopefully. What the fuck was that? What are you? Honey badger. What did you just steal? You're a quick little bastard. Also, holy crap, look at all those muscles. Muscle shell. Rotten raw muscle. Are you fucking stealing shit? Oh shit, he's stealing things. Okay, we gotta dismantle this. Remove building. I need a carpenter. I have a carpenter. Okay. Yeah, he's stealing something. Look at him. He's stealing, um... What the fuck is he stealing? Stole like a plump helmet. What a fucking thief. You little bastard. I can't really fight that. I guess I'll just let him run off with whatever he took. God damn it. We, gotta, we really gotta get rid of all this crap. What do we got in here? Shouldn't have that much left in there. At least we hauled as much as we could. Alright, we built the stills and stuff. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna extract from plants. Repeat. And that's not done yet. That's fine. Hopefully we'll have somebody doing that now. Get some more drinks, which is good. We only have 80 left, apparently. Okay, how are our doors doing stress-wise? Honey Badger has stolen plum helmets. Five. God damn it. Um, one of our dwarves is quite content. Nobody is particularly stressed. Good. Who's quite content, actually? Why are you content? Athel Stinthatkol. Our carpenter and miner is quite content. What is your personality like? Can easily fall in love or develop positive feelings. Are often envious of others. Can be very happy. Optimistic. Has an incredibly calm demeanor. There's little interest in joking around, tends to consider what others think of him, tends to share their own experiences and thoughts with others, dislikes obligations, will try to avoid being bound by them, tends to think before acting, enjoys the company of others, is assertive, finds merrymaking and partying, worthwhile activities, dreams of raising a family. He's Athel Theater Wield. Likes Hornblade Gold? There you go, that's probably why. Shape of mountains, the words of the embraced berry, and the sounds of sweetness of velvet, pursues just consumed giant capuchin, sand bear cider, and tomillo plant fruit hates leeches. He's satisfied at work, euphoric due to inebriation. Satisfied upon improving mining. I don't really have a name for him. Yet. We'll find one for him. You get your name once you've proven yourself to be a very loyal asset to the fortress. What is everybody doing, huh? Sleeping, sleeping, storing item, detailing floor, sleeping, storing item, okay. I get the picture. Okay, the kitchen's getting built, and it's built. Nice. Add new task. Prepare easy meal. Repeat. There you go. I think I am going to um, stop streaming in a half an hour, maybe. I don't know. A butcher shop. Uh, butcher dead animal. Repeat. Butcher, dead animal, repeat. Should be fine. Is the fishery done? No, it is not. There are flies down here. Why are there flies? How do I stop flies? 
I'm gonna look that up. I thought maybe moving my fortress downward would help stop it. Dwarf fortress, how to stop flies. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's because of how outside they're outside of a uh, container. I need to build more barrels and stuff like that. That would seem to be... Oh, did he just do that? Hamster. What? Why did you just vacuum up all the stuff? I don't know. Okay, well, there's nothing outside of a container now. Except for some raw mussels. Some migrants have arrived. Okay, cool. Oh, combat log. There's a combat log. How do I do that again? Who got into combat? Reports. No recent reports? Well, who the fuck got into combat? Alright, so we have... Avus Umaritan Animal Dissector. Okay, we actually have a lot of people. Alright, um... Animal Dissector. He is... Small Animal Dissection. I didn't even know that was... A thing. He's a farmer. Okay, he's plant processing a brewer. Milker. Cheese maker. Butcher. And tanner. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you will do animal care. And animal taming as well as animal dissecting. And you can go ahead and do hunting too. And... We'll have you on... Wait, no, that's the wrong person. There you go. We'll have you on... Plant gathering as well, and... I'm not gonna make you cook. You're also a shearer, a spinner, and a dyer. Okay. Fair enough. It's a good enough job. Okay, who's the next person? Doran... The cheese maker. Doran Tower Dens. Okay, so Doran, you are literally just a cheese maker. Okay. Well, you are a carpenter now. You're changing your whole identity. What do you actually like doing? As a greedy street, it rules by irresistible craving and urges like some brawls that stick things. Um, Seize denial of impulses of vain and foolish pursuits. Really respects those that take time to master a skill. Dreams of raising a family. Okay, so you're kind of an asshole. Um, we'll have you do some carpeting, some some stone detailing. We need more stone detailers. Um, you can do some farming too. And plant processing. Let's get those guys to go do that. Next person. Dodoc. Papermaker. Dodoc. Dodoc. Clan labor. Okay, you are a papermaker. What else do you do? You make cheese. You're an armor smith. Okay. We'll have you be a blacksmith. Metal crafter, weapon crafter, furnace operator. Nothing wrong with that. Gem cutter, gem setting. Um, you're really good at paper making, so I'll also get you, put you on book binding. And in your free time, you will be doing... Um, masonry and stone detailing. And stone crafting. Congratulations. You have a job. Go get to work. Next person. Ush rear Abel Neckett, the glazer. Ush rear butts bust secrets. Okay, he's a talented glazer. Skilled flatterer. Okay, so you are a gla uh 
strand extract. Oh wait, no, you're good at glazing and wax working. I guess you can also do some pottery. Um, stone detailing, stone macing, stone crafting. Congratulations, and you can be a miner too. Who cares? Okay, next person. Sigan, animal dissector. Uh, you are good at stone crafting, stone detailing, which means you're gonna be a miner and stuff. Small animal dissection and gelding. Put you in charge of animal care as well. Sure. You don't have a lot to do. A child. What the hell is that? That is a child, right? Yeah. Ton Lico Tenth. You are ton ink balanced. Quick to form negative views. Dreams mastering a skill. You're not related to anybody. You're 11 years old. Okay. Fair enough. And you have a companion, Ashtesh Komadem, puppy. Is that yours? Was this sl slated to be butchered? No, no, no. Wait, no, you're Ashtesh's kit. Uh, you're the puppy of Ashtesh. I think. Commandum? Who, who owns you? Ashtesh spread keys. Who owns you, though? You're just a puppy. Okay, I guess you're nobody's puppy in particular. I don't know why you're just standing still. And a doctor! Okay, what is your name? Stack Stackud. You are a doctor. You are in trained in everything to do with doctoring. Animal care, apparently. And a fisherman. Okay, sure. No changes needed. Ashtush. Stackud. Um, Stackud ringed lanced. Neat. Don't know why you're not doing anything, though. It's just kind of raining with you out there. Is there anybody else that I missed? Here, let's check. I uh, should be able to set... It, sh change it by... Um, the, the the day they came in, shouldn't I? Migrant wave. Migra migration wave, there you go. Okay, we did miss one guy who's a miner. Atalan. You were gonna be doing stone detailing and shit. Um, anybody else? Nope, that's everybody. Okay. Good enough for me. Right, let's check back on the fortress. Okay. Needs butcherable, unrotten. Okay. Well. We'll make sure we do that later, I guess. What about these mussels? Are they just gonna rot? Raw mussels? What happened to the rotten ones? There was rotten ones, weren't they? I guess they just kind of rotted away. Oh well. Alright, we got some people stone detailing and stuff now. Nice. Okay. Very good. Just need that fishery done now. Who's idling? Play make believe, child, okay. And the miner that hasn't arrived yet. Okay. And my animal sector. I don't care. Okay. So you are making easy meals and stuff now, right? Yeah. So we should be creating lots of stuff now.
Drink store of an ale, 50. Cave lobster, raw mussels. Do we have... I don't have any cave wheat spawns. We do have plump helmets, though. We got, like, 20. And as we eat them, they'll create more spawns, shouldn't they? That's how that works, right? Like, dwarves are like fish. Alright, I need to sneeze and I also need to pee, but... Maybe I can do it for a little bit longer. Who knows? Is anybody brewing? Why aren't you brewing? Make some stuff from plants. We should be doing that constantly. So there's a log list, right? There's like a log. I don't know how to get to the log. <gasps> I forgot. Job list, reports. It's not reports. I don't know. Alright, so we're clearing out this area, which is good. Should be able to make our first workshop here in this area without too much complaint. Let's build a carpenter's workshop right here out of granite. Should be good. There you go. Right away it's done. Okay, so you're gonna make barrels for now. Repeat that and do it now. And then after that you're gonna make tables. You're gonna repeat that and you're gonna do some chairs. And you're gonna repeat that. Okay. Hopefully she should get around to that. A lot of idlers. Uh, let's have them do some more stuff. Let's do some more stone smoothing. Probably smooth out this entire area of stone now. Without too much issue. Right? I forgot about the gold. Let's not smooth out the gold. Or any of this stuff, for that matter. It's got an ore in it. I don't want to smooth it out. I don't care what it is. Anything else up here? There's more. Do that. That. And that. There you go. Be it right. Yep. Okay. Build another carpenter workshop. Right there. And then we'll make it out of granite and we'll probably make some doors and stuff out of that. Pretty soon we'll be able to start making bedrooms, but I'm probably gonna end the stream before I start doing that. not gonna play CK2 tonight, I don't think. I thought I might because I haven't played it in five days, but it's fine. I'll play it at the end of the week. It's just CK2, and it's been going pretty well recently, so I'm not worried that I'm gonna stop doing it anytime soon. So Let's also do, um... Can I do designations, and then smooth stone here? Here? There you go. Alright. Should be nice. Alright, looks like he's making some barrels. It's good. Wait, fuck. I for totally forgot. I gotta delete these. We gotta make them up here, because that bottom area was gonna be where everything was gonna be. It's fine, because we'll just immediately do this. It's fine. Should be able to build them right here. Carpenter, right here. Granite, and 
We'll wait till that's built. On the other side of the room, we'll do. Mason's workshop. How about that? That made out of granite. This is extract from plants. It's unrotten plants. Extract from plants. You should be able to just do it. Shouldn't be any problems with brewing meat from plants here. Are we still making plum helmets though? No. It's kind of worrisome. Do we have any seeds? Stocks. No. Kitchen. Vegetable fruit leaves. Plum helmets. We have plump three plump helmets. We have plump helmet spawns. Simple cup spawns, cave weed spawns, prickly berry. What happened to our old plump helmet spawn? We just have three plump helmets now? Really? Alright, well that's fine. We can do some other shit in the other farms, I guess. Just have to wait for it to uh, come back up on the priority. Shouldn't be too long. It's almost done. Station need leader cancels give water needs empty, empty bucket. Alright, we'll build some buckets here. Add um what is bucket? Bucket, 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 bucket. Bucket. There it is. One bucket is E. A E. Make that many buckets. And then start making barrels. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Am I sure it's not K or something? View announcements, that would be what it is. A is view announcements. Alright. Here, let's diversify that thing, because clearly there's not enough plump helmets. Yeah, let's do, um, Steve Wheat and these two. Uh, dimple cups here, and then cave wheat, pigtails, sweet pods. There you go. Neat. We disassembled these, right? This is mechanisms, potato seeds, bags, iron anvils, tail. Okay. Alright, so we should go back to planting some stuff. We're gonna need to start replanting in winter, though. I'm not doing that over and over again. Alright, let's build another carpenter's workshop then. Okay. One, two, that, like that. Make it out of granite. good for now. We'll do a farmer's workshop. Two. And two. Like that. Granite. And let's do... Craft Stores Workshop there. Do that. Granite. There you go. Okay. That should be sufficient. For now at least. Which is good. mining up there. Yes, we are. We're planting again, which is good. Okay. I think I'm done for now. I think I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna stop for now. 
save and then stop. It's been a couple hours. Alright, take my headphones off and everything. That was a good first session. Just getting back in the swing of things. Trying to figure out some stuff. Um. Alright. I'm not gonna play CK2 tonight. I'll wait until Friday. Or whenever I want to do it, to be honest. But next time, definitely Friday. Stellaris is also something I'm trying to do soon. Because Stellaris is getting a new update very soon. And, um, might play that. Because I do like Stellaris. And it has been a good enough amount of time where I might want to do it again. But, for now, there you go. It's the end of the stream. So I'll be back on Wednesday, hopefully. And I will be doing Metal Gear. And hopefully, assuming that I'm good enough, I'm able to beat it. Because we're in a kind of tough spot right now where, um... I'm not too confident in my ability to beat the game, just because I don't have enough ammo, because I didn't realize the final boss was right there. But maybe we'll be able to go back, or maybe I'll just get lucky and uh, clutch out a victory or something for the uh, Metal Gear fight with Liquid. And then on Friday, Crusader Kings 2 probably. And then next week I will be doing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Wednesday. Because that's the next thing in the schedule, and because I want to. And after that, Final Fantasy 2. And hopefully we'll be back in the, the, the swing of things, and I'll update you guys on my schedule, as always, on my Discord, should things change. And yeah, that's the end of the stream. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time for more Door Fortress. Or whatever else you happen to stumble upon me doing. Thank you for watching. Bye. All that stuff.